The leather industry is about to get a serious makeover. New Jersey-based startup called Modern Meadow has found a way to grow leather in a lab using genetically engineered yeast. So this leather, it feels like leather, it looks like leather, there's no real difference. Zoa bio-leather materials um, are really meant to show up in our everyday objects. Uh, everything from um, footwear to accessories, you know, like wallets and bags and uh, watches. We're looking to take what we love about leather and to dial it up. So this is the, the first stage of it. What happens in here? So in this particular lab, what we do is we actually do all of the, the, the designing and building of our, of our cell factory, so to speak, where we actually will put the DNA that makes all of the basic building blocks of leather, which is collagen, same collagen you and I have in our bodies, but we make it in a yeast. That yeast is then fermented into collagen cells. Now that we've developed these highly um, uh, refined these cell factories, what we do in this lab here is we actually then grow these cells up in massive volumes and massive scales. The process from start to finish takes about two weeks. Next step is we take that good protein, we assemble it into our bio leather materials, and then we test it and we, we work with our channel partners to see what they think of it. And multiple big brands have already signed up to use the material, according to the company's CEO and co-founder. We've been approached by uh, hundreds of brands who want to work with us. We've been approached by many designers. Um, and um, there's been tremendous interest for this technology before it's been even matured or fully developed. So we also unconstrain leather and we can play in areas that traditional leather could not play in because we remove the constraints of size, shape, and how you, you, know, how you manufacture with it. When we have leather in a liquid form, we can start to do things like paint with it, or spray it, or um, you know, layer it and put it where we want it. So it opens up a lot of new creative possibilities. But the companies that we work with are some of the most iconic brands around product in their respective categories. While the company won't disclose the retailers' names just yet, they say to hope to have the material out to consumers next year. I mean, we're very focused on, um, on product development at the moment, and we're very much looking to, um, to refine and perfect uh, our materials in these products so that we can show up uh, to consumers within the next year or two.